A quick look at the markets and how they opened this morning after hefty selling on Monday. Shares in Asia declined while Treasury yields and the dollar rose in a sign investors are yet to recalibrate interest rate expectations fully. U.S. Treasury yields hit a new 16-year high helping prop up the dollar around its highest level in over 10 months as investors react to U.S. Feds and other major central banks' message that rates would remain higher for longer. The yen weakened to a fresh year low after Bank of Japan officials doubled down on the message that stimulus is needed. Asia-Pacific stock indices fell, the Japanese and Australian equity indices beginning in the red on Tuesday. And after a little gain for Wall Street on Monday, U.S. equities futures were modestly lower. On a volatile Monday, global stock index fell while the value of the dollar rose to its highest level versus the Japanese yen in 11 months and to its best level in over 10 months against a basket of currencies. The MSCI All World Index closed lower on Monday, marking its seventh consecutive decline and its longest losing streak since early September last year. After China's Evergrande Group missed a loan payment and senior executives were jailed on Monday, investors in China's property developers saw their equities fall the most in nine months. This has prompted widespread concerns across Asia. The economic engine of the world's second largest economy is sputtering and this has led to worries about the sector's debt load and the slowdown of global growth. At a news conference last week, Fed Chief Jerome Powell said the auto workers strike a possible federal government shutdown, the start of student loan repayments, rising energy prices and rising long-term borrowing rates are potential threats to the U.S. economy. Separately, Moody's Investors Services warning that a government shutdown in the United States might hurt the country's credit rating. It had no effect on the market on Monday and later this week as October 1st approaches, fears of a shutdown may increase. Investor, investors are also wary of ahead of the next U.S. inflation reading, which is due on Friday, and U.S. crude futures settled lower while Brent was flat in choppy trade on Monday as Russia relaxed its fuel ban. What has fueled the recent surge in oil prices? It's a tighter supply outlook. Crude oil traded lower down from its 10-month high and gold east. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.